Well, hello everybody. It is B here, and welcome to another episode of uh, Minecraft. And uh, we're going to continue our exploration of the island here. I have a lot of things that I want to do, and uh, so little time. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to skip through some parts of the boring gameplay and just, uh, you know, so they, it sort of makes sense what I'm doing, but. I'm not gonna do the boring stuff like what I'm doing now and just digging in. I'll leave some though. Um, anyways, so I think what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna need to collect some more sand and stuff. And uh, of course, that's the uh, slow and boring part. And I know it's getting dark. I also need to start uh, making windows in my house. So I'm just gonna. Actually, I'm gonna try and fast forward this. So, hold on a sec. And we're back. That super speed kind of made me a little bit dizzy, but that was really, really bad. I don't think I'm going to be doing super speed again. Um, we'll just... So now I have this, you know, some of the glass done. I had to use wood because obviously I was not smart enough to collect any coal yet. Uh, and, but wood is readily available, so I can continue making... Uh, use it as fuel to burn and to make glass and uh, I feel very cramped in this house so I think uh, I'm gonna need to build and expand it a little bit over the edge there um, okay so that's what I did so far uh, I'm just expanding there a little bit and using dirt because obviously I don't have wood I burnt it using glass it is sunrise and uh, now we're just gonna have to get some more wood today and uh, continue expanding the house. Let's just look around and see. Um, I'm not, as, as you can notice, I'm not reaching all the way to the other side. I'm just doing a little bit. I just want to leave that area in between so if the monsters are coming towards me, they're just gonna drop. So hopefully that won't be too bad. Let's see how it goes. There he goes, burning in flames, and he must die. <laughs> but, there's a puddle at the bottom, so he doesn't burn. How convenient. Um, I'm gonna have to deal with this at some point. So apparently, when they catch fire, if they fall in the water, they don't burn. Oh well, uh, at least he's not anywhere within my arm's reach, so I'll just let it be, and... Uh, continue on my way to collecting wood and stuff but let's see. hmm I also need some more glass so 
I'll be right back. So I've been um, able to collect uh, quite a bit of uh, dirt and, sorry, sand and uh, wood. Um, I basically cut down the tree uh, a little bit more, the one that was just underneath my bridge. And uh, I've also collected some of the sand that I started collecting earlier. Just cleared out a few levels off the top. So now I think uh, I'm ready to expand my house and I think it will be conveniently getting darker soon, so as we're going to go into the night, I'm going to have, be able to uh, continue expanding. I'm, uh, for now, I think I'm just going to do the uh, top of the house, um, although now I have to also start thinking of uh, creating like storage areas and things like that. But from what it seems, if I do expand, it's going to be a decent area. Uh, I'll be able to maybe like put some... Uh, Tool boxes. Uh, what am I talking about? Not tool boxes. Chests uh, where I can uh, keep all my stuff, and um, maybe I'll be also able to like put something around to make sure the enemies can't get in. Um, if anything, I'll probably be able to also expand down underneath because this club goes pretty high up. So I may be able to also uh, create a second level right underneath the house. So I look double stacked. But for now, I'll just do this floor here. Um, I already kind of set it out the, the length with the dirt, so now I just got to do it uh, with the uh, with the wood. And uh, yeah. And there goes my torch. All right, so let me just grab another one. So I wouldn't want to uh, leave that area dark in case uh, I know how the game works a little bit. So as far as I know, then there might be monsters spawning in the dark area. So I wouldn't want that area to be right in the back of my house. Um, so I'll just put the uh, torch there. But I also need to um, remember to get rid of... Uh, all this dirt here and replace it with wood. See that the floor is even. It takes forever to do it with the hands, and that's why I'm uh, kind of making sticks. Oh, I already had sticks, technically, but I have no uh, stones, so I'm just gonna grab that quickly. And I'm gonna make a shovel because digging through dirt with a shovel is much easier than doing it with your hand. Captain Obvious, of course. Alright, so I'm making this deeper and deeper, so it seems. I'm still debating whether that's actually a good idea or not. In case monsters do try to come towards the house, they're supposed to kind of drop down and get stuck there. So that way they can't really get through. I'll just make two shells. Alright, now I can dig through quickly. And replace that with wood. I think that should be uh, decent enough. I'm also, also going to have to uh, go find uh, more coal as well. Because I have to find some more torches. It's have limited supplies. So as long as I can find it at some point somewhere, it's going to be okay. So I'll just add some more wood here, make it nice and flat. Now look at all this running area. I can then jog around a little bit. It's a little bit more spacious. I'm okay, just going to make sure the ceiling is going to be much higher too. So if the ceilings are higher, obviously I'll be able to um, make it feel more cozy and more like a real house. Other than that, it seems uh, fairly good. Uh, there's a big distance in between this wall and the other wall. I mean, like, no, sorry, not the wall, but like the wall of my house and the wall of the other side of the cliff. So that way, if anybody runs towards the house, they should drop. There shouldn't be any problems with that. 
but um, that kind of prevents me now from seeing the bottom of it. Hmm. Let me just think about this for a second, and maybe I'll just do the glass walls as well. Hold on, I'll be right back again. So if we look around for a second, um, it seems much more spacious now. I made walls around out of glass, so now I can actually see the sunrise and the sunset. I also made uh, a little um, extension, I guess, outside of the house using glass as well, so it creates this extra little space in, in between the entrance and um, stuff. If you look at my health, um, it is actually much lower because uh, as I was doing this, I actually was not recording. I thought I was, but I wasn't. And as I was building uh, glass walls, apparently spiders were able to jump from the um, edge through the corner and actually made it over here. They're actually getting through this corner here. And uh, they're able to jump through and attack me. So I kind of had to uh, be creative, run to this little spot here and try and defend myself with my sword. It worked out. I mean, it was it was actually quite nice that I created that before I started expanding all the way around. But I just never realized the spiders can jump that far. But I guess I also made that area a little bit extra close to the edge too by creating this extra glass level around. Just this one line was big enough for them, I guess, to jump over. Um, I, so now I can actually look down and see the water. The floor is glass in the middle too. Kind of lost them quite a bit of wood, but either way, I think this is really nice now. I, I like it. Uh, there's going to be a, a lot of light during the day, and um, as well as at night, I can actually look and see what's going on outside without being constricted in any way. So, I think I think this is a very good design for what I'm doing right now, considering the fact that I'm trying to um, do it right over the cliff and. You can look down and see things underneath. I think that's cool. Alright, so in the meantime, I have to also go exploring and uh, I'm gonna save the game. Oh. Hold on. Music was too loud. But I'm. Um, actually, I'm not gonna save the game. I'm gonna um, go through and uh, go get some uh, coal, maybe. I still have to make a little bit more glass and stuff because obviously I have no roof yet. And let's see if he's gonna attack. Come, jump, drop. Wow, that's all creepy because he actually started hissing. All right, so as, as you can see, there's basically a lot of enemies dropping down. You can actually see them through the glass. I love it, it's awesome. It's like a dance floor. If it would only flicker with different lights, it would be like a dance floor. Anyways, um, I think I'm just gonna look for a coal right now. Once I find some coal, dig it up, um, maybe make some entrances to the lower levels, and then, then I can start expanding down. Because I need I need light. Obviously, I don't have enough torches, and uh, I've been using all of the wood for creating glass, which is not bad. But... All right, let's go. Explore. I think I'm gonna collect all this uh, stuff, put it away, make some wood, and I should make a bow. Because, um, considering the fact how many spiders actually jumped through that little space that I didn't close off and I had to defend myself, I was able to uh, collect quite a few strings. And uh, now I should be able to make a bow. Just I need more flint now to also to make um, arrows. It's been they only have one. Uh, it's like nothing. Probably like make one or two arrows out of it. All right. So let's make some wood. And toss that in there. Collect some glass. Put more 
send. Now, as it's making, I should be able to go and find things. Make bow. Bam, bam, bam. And now I'm ready. All I have is two arrows. That's just silly. Alright. Okay. Let's set out on adventure. But I think, um, how long was this video? It's been a bit of time now. So I'll just cut it here. And, um, as we go on adventure in the next one to go find coal and uh, kill pigs and monsters if I find any. But see you guys later. See you in the next episode.